G'day Lee here. What we're going to do is um, basically set our group wires so that when email comes in with a certain subject title it will automatically be sent to a folder and this is used generally with um, the use of email lists and uh, if you and some email lists have a subject title prefix and using that prefix you can have group wires identify email and send it to a folder for you to read elsewhere rather than in your in your day-to-day -day email chores now to do that you need to do two things first of all you need to set up the folder and the way we do that uh, gee I've only done it once before so let me just have a little look here we got tools it's in here somewhere actions view folder list and that's right okay so view folder list you probably already got that there there's a number of ways to do it this is a new way for me yeah uh, there was some other way I did anyway in the cabinet is where your folders are kept so you right click cabinet and click new folder and is it a personal folder a shared folder etc etc go next and then give the folder a name now I'll just create the same folder as I had as df LP is the name of the folder. It's the same as the one below that I just set up. And this is to group all email coming in on an email group called DFLP, Designing for Flexible Learning Practice. And you can give it a description. Go next. Uh, the folder already exists, so I'll have to go DFLP2. Okay, next. And some settings and just go finish. I don't really look at those settings. Okay, there. I have my new folder. Now, to set up it, the um, email system so that it will send email with the prefix to that folder it's in the tools and under rules thanks Brian Trainer for pointing me to that one and in rules there's the rule there that I've already set up so we'll just go new and set up another one and we'll call this one DFLP2 again so there's the rule name now it affects received email that's there and then we click define conditions and the conditions are affecting the subject and the subject contains a prefix and I happen to know the egroup prefix is DFLP so when we get email from that email group all subject lines are prefixed with that colon colon DFLP colon colon okay and then we press OK then we go down to the next field and um, add action I think it was that's right and move to folder that'll pop up the window and now you need to point it to the folder we want and remember we set up the new folder in the cabinet and there's DFLP2 and then we checkbox that and go move and then press save okay and then we press close so you can obviously set up more than one action for different things um, and that's that. Now if I was to press close that would then set it and we get um, email coming into the folder. I'm not going to press close and save that but as you can see in DFLP3 here they've got three messages coming in so it tells me that it's working. I did exactly that and uh, the email list group um, emails are coming into that folder there. So I'm going to uncheck that actually I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to delete it at this point. Yes and then I'll check that and close. Okay, so that's how you set up rules uh, to send subject prefixed emails to a folder automatically.